Hi guys, it's username Kate. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have another episode of The Triumph Trident. Now I'm on my way back from work, the sun is setting and I thought let's chat Triumph Trident accessories because we all know that this bike's got an absolutely banging base price so I was thinking how much damage financially can actually be done in terms of specking this bike up so as mentioned in my last video the Triumph Trident comes in four colour options two of them at the starting price so it's um, £7,195 for those specific colour options it is the white and the black like the design that I'm on now and then it's an extra £100 so it takes it to 7295 if you want the tank with the big logo here the Triumph logo so it really does mean that you can get on the road for that much money however in typical Triumph style there's lots of accessories to have a look at and this is where you can really get carried away so I've been having a look at what options are available for the Triumph Trident got to give it a rev under a give it a rev under a tunnel of course so I've been having a look on Triumph's website and it really is quite clear in terms of the configuration what you can actually spec this bike with they've got it in different categories so you've got style you've got protection you've got technology you've got security or garage as they call it and you really can make your bank balance cry rum, rum, rum. okay so in terms of style you've got a few options with this bad boy they do a colour coded fly screen which if you just want to deflect a little bit of wind from yourself then I'm sure that will be a, a good option to get there's also a aluminium or aluminium to all my American subscribers belly pan which again bit of a styling exercise just tidies up the front and hides the headers a little bit and then another style option that you have are the classic bar and mirrors and they are nice classic looking round ones which is really nice they also do a lot of other little trick bits like fancy cnc machined like oil filler caps stuff like that just some nice little touches then there's triumph's protection side of the accessories so you have things in there like frame protectors you've got engine protection you've got front axle kind of like fork sliders if you will and then you've got the little tank pad just to uh, stop your beauty getting scratched up let's nip to the front or as close to the front as I can possibly get we'll slot it here in front of this taxi who's now moving up but whatever then you've got the technology side of things the technology accessories you can get with this bike so there's quite a few Triumph do well, we'll start at the cheapest. You've got a little USB socket that you can have. Pretty cute. You can have a quick shifter and an auto blipper on this thing, which will set you back £275. I don't think that's too unreasonable, to be fair. You've got the connectivity module, so you can connect your smartphone to the bike there's an alarm that you can have now I think the Triumph alarm is something like 255 pounds but you have to be aware that you need a 
like fitting kit for it which is 55 pounds so it takes it a little over 300 then there's triumph track plus now when i heard that i got all excited because of the track day goer in me but it actually means track as in a tracking device so triumph have got their own sort of method there again i don't know the exact price but i think you're looking roughly around 300 pound you can also have tire pressure monitor sensors on this bike you can have scrolling indicators i can only imagine they're a fancier indicator kind of like them audi ones that you see i've not seen them that's just a guess could be very wrong there kind of it on the technology front still quite a lot though then you've got like traveling accessories so you can get a tank bag for this beauty you can get a tail bag for this beauty and you can also get pillion grab rails as well which is pretty nice then if you go on the website try and do their own range of oh heated grips how could i forget in the sort of technology side of things you gotta get heated grips on there jesus she says not specking her own street triple up with heat grips like an absolute noob <laughs> and then triumph do their own They've got their own list of locks round anchors disc locks big chains which you can actually buy on the website under accessories which i think is pretty cool very forward thinking you can buy triumph trident bike covers you can buy optimizers you can even buy a cleaning kit which I think is by Muckoff, it's like £65. I think that's pretty cool to advertise it on the website as an accessory that you can buy. So I definitely feel like this bike, it can be as basic or as tech as you kind of want it to be. I suppose it just depends how deep your pockets are, really. Personally, if I was specking this bike up, what would I want to do with it? I definitely want those classic bar and mirrors, 100%. What else would I like? Hmm. I definitely get protection. I think it's worth its weight in gold. At 100% go for the heated grips, I would not make the same mistake that I did with my street triple. I know I can retrofit them, I'm just lazy and it's COVID and I see BA travelling. Definitely go for the connectivity. Oh, would I? Do I need it? Would I need it? Would I need to be connected? And even when I ride the GSs with the TFT dashes and the smartphone connectivity, I never connect it because I don't want mithering I don't want Sandra in Aberdeen at a call centre asking me whether I want to buy health insurance I'm just not that mithered by it I kind of feel like I just want to be away from it do you know what I mean but a lot of people will find it mightily convenient to have connectivity so I'm not knocking it it's just maybe a little too involved for me. I need to get over here. Easy. Definitely have the quick shifter and auto blipper. No doubt about it. I'm just lazy. I can't fight it. It's who I am. And yeah, they do other fancy bits like little machined valve caps <laughs> all that stuff that you raved about when you were 16 and you bought your first moped no but you know what i mean there's a vast array of options i love these tires so much confidence so tell me guys if you were going to be an owner of a Triumph Trident 660, how would you accessorise it? How would you make it your own? What features would enhance your riding experience? 
Let me know because I'm genuinely curious. But you know what? Going off accessories now and just going on a waffle. It's a pleasant bike. I'm having fun on it. I recently had another influx of subscribers. Subscribers. Put my teeth back in. Subscribers. And I'm really grateful for you guys, old and new. So if you could like this video, comment, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Whatever you want, really. I'm just grateful that we're here and we're talking. It's a nice little like community vibe that I've got going on my videos. I absolutely love it. So many comments. It's just really nice to see. I'm proper grateful for it. So yeah guys, on that note, please subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next time, take care, stay safe.